uh, pull over and uh, um, Saturday morning, 17th, we're still headed to the uh, ATV dealership near Owen Sound. It's not in Owen Sound. I know right where it is. So it's funny because this is all my distant distance cousin stomping ground. We're getting into Hepworth and stuff, but we're going, we'll be going through the little place that used to be called Formosa. It's no longer called that unless it changed again. I don't know. But anyways, um, I don't even know why I bother because I'm never going to meet these people. I don't want to meet these people. They're not my kind of people and I'm not their kind of people. So all I know is what my mother's told me and okay, hey, that's fine to each his own, right? Uh, I mean, they're big, big farmers, you know, the commercial kind, which, you know, I'm against anyways. But hey, to each his own, people got to eat, I guess. I just don't have to eat it. But the other thing is, is that, uh, you know, they're very, very... Uh, right-wing religious and again no problem as long as they don't try to put their shit on me and I certainly won't put my shit on them so anyways uh, so we're not you know I mean okay probably sit and have a coffee yeah I'm your 50th cousin from wherever and you guys go back to 1802 whatever it was when you were kicked out of Wales you know one of those kind of things so anyways no loss on my part, and I'm sure I'm not on their part. I don't think, uh, you know, if I want to see any family after I might lose my mom. Is any lane to turn right onto Highway 6 South? Yeah, I know Highway 6 South. See, there's the old bait shop. Is he still open? Twenty-one Celsius feels warmer though. It's the humidity, eh? Um, so here's Wyerton. I think that bait shop's still open. I can't tell. There's no uh, sign. I'm not all that sure that the bait shop was doing that well anyway. When Tom had it, I mean, I would go there. I, you know, you'd never see cars in the parking lot. Now, I'm not so sure. People don't seem to fish with minnows in the summer here. We really don't either, but Jill was absolutely determined to get minnows for the fishing, so the bay looks totally flat. I wish I knew which way the wind was going today. This is where I did our la we did our laundry here too. We met somebody, a lady, really, really cool in the laundry mat. I don't know if it's still here or not. I think it's right here when I pull up to the lights. Just look to the left and it's there. Thanks to the idiots at uh, MDG, my uh, my uh, insurance payment. Oh, yeah, there's the laundry mat still open. Wired to laundry mat. Oh, it's all modernized now. Wow. Um, <laughs> wonder if they got a weed shop. Every other damn place seems to have one. Honest recreational cannabis store, will you look at that? Jesus Christ. Even in Wyerton. I don't know why I'm saying that. Wyerton's a nice little place. And in actual fact, I'd be better off coming here to do all my stuff rather than running to, um, I think he just ran a red light, that guy. Does he not realize the big red thing says stop? Anyways, uh, yeah, the gas station's closed. Uh, wow signs gone and everything so where God Hepworth uh, the gas bar there is extremely expensive but yeah coming here is uh, it's probably even in Wi-Fi places although I haven't really missed having Wi-Fi <laughs> I called TELUS yesterday to let them know I'm late on my payment, thanks to MDG, so they're all cool. Um, but, um, yeah, it's gone. Uh, this site will permanently close, so that's the end of the gas bar. Foodland is still open. It moved, it used to be down closer to the water. It's bigger. Snazzier. 
Anyway, um, because we're actually closer to Wyerton than I am Salvo Beach. Salvo Beach, of course, is full of people. Now, I do like to go in Salvo Beach because I like seeing all the people, right? So. Today we're on a mission. Yeah, so I was saying, I, uh, in the, the, I think the video before, part one, my glasses, uh, I somehow, they, I fell asleep with them on and I rolled over in the night and broke them. And I think it's the same place I broke them before, so. Those, it might be the end of those, those are my John Lennon's, it might be the end of those glasses. So I got my old ones are, you know what's funny? That this um, prescription is older, but I actually see better out of them. But they're smaller too, eh? They're a tough pair of glasses. I'm glad I brought them. I always keep them in the truck, eh? In the in the little glasses box. is the SO which is closer to Sabo Beach on the Sabo Beach Road and um, see there's Boat Lake Road I wonder you can't get boats in there I'm gonna have to look at the map on that one probably be some pretty huge bass in there though the way that lake is it's just not the place for my boat to go into if I had a John boat maybe just talking it the other day to Adam Crosby about that I said you know I wish I had a second boat but a John boat I said one of the longer more stable ones and with a console but I said the nice part is that John boats you go to about three or four inches of water you know even if your motor you put your motor up you can literally you know just paddle into four or five inches of water you know and the boat uh, won't hit the ground because the way it's designed they eh? hit the ground hit the you know underneath of the uh, water so anyway we're not getting a John boat anytime soon I'll get an RV before I get a John boat because I'm not I never will I'll never let anybody push me around see those these clouds are darker this way but this is back towards Sable Beach and uh, <clears throat> excuse me so it's missing the campground which is good not good for the other campgrounds but I'm only concerned about us in Sherwood Sherwood my god Sherwood my old campground in Cloyne uh, White Sands Anyways, coming up on 10 minutes, so again, I'm going to keep these at 10 minutes. They're easier to upload and stuff, so, and edit. So, as always, thanks for coming. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to donate to all these expenses I'm having here on my Sabo Beach trip, www.paypal.com slash lad from the woods, or buy me a copy slash lad from the woods. Um, yeah. So be good to your fellow human, peace, long life, and live long and prosper. I'll be back when I have something actual to film that isn't just talking in my way, like something a little more interesting. Okay? Bye.